Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 9, Thermal Conductivity and Mechanisms of Energy Transport, Segment 1, Forest Law. With me, Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology, Bandung. In this module, we will discuss about Fourier's Law of Heat Conduction, Heat Conductivity, Thermal Conductivity of Solids, Effective Thermal Conductivity of Composite Solids, Convective transport of energy and work associated with molecular motions. It is common knowledge that some materials such as metals conduct heat readily, whereas others such as wood act as thermal insulators. Thermal conductivity key is a physical property that describes the rate at which heat is conducted. Heat conduction in place can be thought of as molecular energy transport. The basic mechanism is the motion of the constituent molecules. Energy can also be transported by the bulk motion of a fluid, and this is referred to as convective energy transport, which depends on the density of the fluid. Another mechanism is that of diffusive energy transport, which occurs in mixtures that are interdiffusing. In addition, energy can be transmitted by means of radiative energy transport, which is quite distinct in that this form of transport does not require a material medium, as do conduction and convection. Let's consider a slab of solid material of area A located between two large parallel plates, a distance y apart as shown in the left figure. We imagine that initially for time t less than zero, the solid material is at a temperature t0 throughout. At t equals to zero, the lower plate is suddenly brought to a slightly higher temperature t1 and maintained at that temperature. As time proceeds, the temperature profile in the slab changes and ultimately a linear steady state temperature distribution is attained. When this steady state condition has been reached, a constant rate of heat flow Q through the slab is required to maintain the temperature difference which can be expressed by equation 9-1. That is, the rate of heat flow per unit area is proportional to the temperature decrease over the distance y. The constant of proportionality K is the thermal conductivity of the slab. Equation 9-1 is also valid if a liquid or gas is placed between the two plates, provided that suitable precautions are taken to eliminate convection and radiation. As the slab thickness approaches zero, the local rate of heat flow per unit area in the positive y direction is designated by Qy, which can be expressed by equation 9-2. This equation, which serves to define K, is the one-dimensional form of Fourier's law of heat conduction. It states that the heat flux by conduction is proportional to the temperature gradient, or to put it pictorially, heat slides downhill on the temperature versus distance graph. If the temperature varies in all three directions, the heat flux can be expressed by equation 9-3 until equation 9-5. Three-dimensional form of Fourier's law describes the molecular transport of heat in isotropic media can be expressed by equation 9-6. By isotropic, it is mean that the material has no preferred direction so that heat is conducted with the same thermal conductivity K in all directions. Some solids, such as single non-cubic crystals, fibrous materials and laminates, are anisotropic and the heat flux can be expressed by equation 9-7, in which K is a symmetric second-order tensor called the thermal conductivity tensor. Thus, the heat flux vector does not point in the same direction as the temperature gradient. Equation 9-2 for heat conduction resembles equation 3-2 for viscous flow. In both equations, the flux is proportional to the negative of the gradient of a macroscopic variable, and the coefficient of proportionality is a physical property characteristic of the material and dependent on temperature and pressure. 
for the situations in which there is three-dimensional transport, the equation for heat conduction differ in appearance than for the viscous flow. This difference arises because energy is a scalar, whereas momentum is a vector. The heat flux is a vector with three components, whereas momentum flux is a second order tensor with nine components. We can anticipate that the transport of energy and momentum will, in general, not be mathematically analogous except in certain geometrically simple situations. In addition to thermal conductivity K, thermal diffusivity alpha is, can be defined by equation 9-8. The circumflex of the symbol indicates quantity per unit mass. Occasionally, one needs to use the symbol tau, which means a quantity per mole. The thermal diffusivity alpha has the same dimensions as the kinematic viscosity, namely length squared per time. When the assumption of constant physical properties is made, the quantities V and alpha occur in a similar way in the equations of change for momentum and energy transport. Prout number is the ratio of V per alpha indicates the relative ease of momentum and energy transport in flow systems which can be expressed as a dimensionless ratio as shown in equation 9.9. Another dimensionless group that is relevant when discussing heat transfer is the packlet number, which can be calculated by equation 9.10. Packlet number represents the ratio of heat transfer by motion of a fluid to heat transfer by thermal conduction. For the next segment, we will discuss about heat conductivity. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.